Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. Actually, yeah, this is better. <laughs> welcome to today's video. So, today's video is a bookshop vlog. I'm just in the mood to go book shopping and I thought I would bring you along. So, let's go. I hope you enjoy. Look how adorable they are. There are five adorable people. I like this picture a lot, it makes me happy. <laughs> I think they are very beautiful and they're so comfortable to read and carry around. I will definitely be getting more of them, but not today because here they're quite pricey actually. They're like twenty dollars each. So yeah, not here, but in the future from the internet I will. and shop sorry my hair i am in the models and shop now i think it's one of my favorite uh, locations they just have so many english books so many like i haven't seen in other shops as many books as they have here oh look what i found i have been watching these like small short history of different things collection from oxford for a long time and they have so many of them they have artificial intelligence biology robotics do they have something history because i'm more interested in history let me see here they only have the, the scientific stuff because this is scientific section so yeah no history but still it's nice that they have them now i am off to my favorite fiction section because that's where I, what i came for <laughs> Let's go there. There's so many classics. I love this place because they have so many classics. Now is what I came here for, for this huge collection of classics in different editions. I love this place. It's like my happy place. <laughs> I like it here. Now look what I found. They have Tom Jones. <laughs> this is the book that I was recently talking about in the uh, video where I talked about Charles Dickens' favorite books. So this is the book that he read as a child. And they have this old like robbery edition with the portrait. I like it. How much is it? It's only $12. Maybe I should get it. Maybe I should get it. I have to think about it. <laughs> I found one more book also by the same author, Henry Fielding. And this is Joseph Andrews. 
and maybe I will get this one because it's also this old like rubbery edition it's shorter than Tom Jones so I thought if I want to try the author for the first time maybe I should try his shorter work maybe I'll get this one to try quilting they also have the Count of Monte Cristo. Look how huge this book is. Actually, spoiler alert, I want to suggest this book for our BBB. Let me know if you would be interested in reading The Count of Monte Cristo. I've heard only, only great things about this book. I feel like everybody loves it. Whoever reads it, loves it. So, yeah, I feel like we should maybe give it a try. Let me know if you want to read it. I've noticed that some editions in this shop cost actually less than on Book Depository. However, others cost more, so should always check, should always check book depository and this shop. Sometimes you can find some better bargains actually here. I found this old also edition of Two on a Tower with a picture of Thomas Hardy and I like it so much I think I will get it. It's also, it's just, you see, because it's old. $12. So, yes, I'm glad I found it. I'm getting this. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I'll be a shooting star, you make a wish No, I don't fake this kind of feeling Never felt so real My heart is on the table Cause you're my everything I do, 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 do I wanna marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true ooh, ooh, The way you make me feel Is so good, baby So good, so good Every single day we spend apart I wanna be with you Baby, take my hand, hold it tight, just like you do. So after I read Silas Marner, now I really want to read more of George Eliot. I wanted to read her shorter works, but it looks like Sil Silas Marner was her shortest. <laughs> All the others are quite low on look. See? Mill on the Floors, Middlemarch, okay, Daniel de Roda, Adam Bede, Ramola. All of them are quite big. I think maybe next I will try Adam Bede. Is it her earliest work? I don't know. Maybe not. I think I will try this because it looks like it's the shortest. <laughs> also, Scenes of Clerical Life. Actually, I think I will read first the Scenes of Clerical Life and then Adam Bede. Yes. But I will not buy now, just for the future. Actually, they also have some Japanese literature, so let's go. I will show you what they have. Shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I'll be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so real. My heart is on the table cause you're my everything. I do, 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 do. I wanna marry you. Cause when you're around, I know it's true. Ooh, ooh, the way you make me feel is so good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day we spend apart, I wanna be with you. Baby, take my hand, hold it tight just like you do. Feels so good, so good When I wake up in the morning and I see your face I'm becoming blind by your dazzling grace What a beautiful feeling to be close to you There's nothing else I wanna do Ooh, and from the fields of flowers you chose to pick me You're spreading sugar on my misery And I don't fake this kind of feeling never felt so real my heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do, 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 I want to marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true The way you make me feel is so good, baby So good, so good Every single day was found apart I want to be with you Baby, take my hand, hold it tight Just like you do Feel so good, so good 
sucks when you're around. I know it's true. The way you make me feel is so good, baby. So good. Of Japanese books, like really, pretty much majority, like all the books that are like published or translated, currently they have. Uh, I'm not buying anything because actually it's cheaper on Book Depository if you want to buy than here. Uh, yeah, so from here currently I'm just buying two old Penguin uh, books, two on the tower and Henry Fielding. So let's go. Here they also have all the new like American books, you see all the like Booker Prize books and new releases and all the books are currently popular I guess so that's that's cool, you see they have a lot, they have Hilary Mantel here you see, that's why I like this bookshop, they have a lot of books in English I read Live with me this year and I really liked it, this is such a good book and this is like by the same author. I'd love to read it. The only problem is that it's like it's pricey, so I will not be buying it here. But I will try to find it somewhere else. So I have got my books. They're here. I'm very excited. I think now I want to go find some coffee shop, sit there, and start start reading one of them. a new rule for myself. I thought after I buy books I would go and immediately start reading them so they wouldn't be just you know piling on my shelves without me reading them. I think it motivates me to read books faster and to read them like immediately after I bought them. So I want to try it. Now I'm going to a coffee shop. Let's go. So in the previous footage you saw that I went to a coffee shop with my husband. I actually came home, changed, and we went to the coffee shop together because he wanted to go as well. He wanted to have some coffee. But now I just want to kind of conclude this video and show you in more detail the books that I've got. So I got two books which I was very pleased to be. They're like this old style. So this rubbery cover, which I personally prefer because I think that they will last longer and they're more, more enduring than their 
present just like paper covers so yeah i'm very pleased with these both of these books and so yeah in the coffee shop i started to, i just gave it a taste i just started started a little bit <laughs> just a little bit of two on a tower by thomas hardy i have to, like obviously i'm just like very few like eight pages <laughs> into the book but i have to say i'm I already like his writing. It's very descriptive, very descriptive, which I know will not be for everyone. Like I feel like modern reader, like the average modern reader doesn't really like descriptive writing where he describes like every stone <laughs> in the tower <laughs> and where he describes the forest and stuff. In my opinion, like for me, I like it. I like to be able to imagine the surroundings of the character. I like to be able to imagine the character the way he or she looks. And that's like what I have seen currently in the first eight pages. <laughs> so yeah, I have to say like I really like um, what I have read so far. Also, I, I am so happy that it has this beautiful portrait of the author. I really like... I, oh, I like him. I feel like he was... He has sad eyes. He has very strict and sad eyes. Don't you think so? Maybe... I don't know what he had in his life. Was he a happy person? Who knows? I feel like Thomas Hardy was... Maybe he was a very intelligent person. He looks very serious, you know? Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like he smiled a lot, you know? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so Thomas Hardy. But I really, I'm very happy to have his portrait. I feel like it's such a good idea and I'm so sad that they stopped doing it. Anyway, very pleased with this book. So the blurb, I will read you the blurb. Hardy's atmospheric moving story of star-crossed lovers shown human beings at the mercy of forces far beyond their control, setting a tragic drama of human passion against a background of vast stellar space and scientific discovery. Tone Tower tells the story of Lady Constantine, who breaks all the rules of decorum when she falls in love with her beautiful youth, uh, Swithin, St. Cleave, her social inferior and ten years her junior, together in an ancient monument converted into an astronomical observation tower, they create their own private universe until the pressures of something destroyed. There is a sticker here, so, <laughs> so I'm very uncomfortable. Okay, so it's apparently it's going to be a tragic love story. As far as I know, majority of Thomas Hardy's works are tragic and sad and depressing. Is he Dostoevsky of English literature? Let's see. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to have this book and I'm very happy to have it in this old Penguin English Library edition. One more book that I got is actually the one that I have never heard about before. I mean, I, obviously I have heard of the author Henry Fielding because recently I made a video about uh, Charles Dickens's favorite books, which I will link up here if you want to watch. And so when he was young, apparently he read Tom Jones. Yes, Tom, Tom Jones by this author. They also had Tom Jones in this edition, but Tom Jones was very long. It, it was, I think it was like 1000 something pages. So I thought I'd rather start with something shorter by this author, just to like kind of give his writing a taste, to see how he writes, to see if I like his writing or not. And I said to start with something short. This book has only 400 pages, so I think it's good for a start. The book is Joseph Andrews. So, Henry Fielding's righteous tale of innocence in a corrupt world was one of the earliest English novels, blending um, philosophical musing and pointed social satire to create a work of moral complexity and generous life-affirming humanity. Published in 1742, it tells the story of the servant, Joseph Andrews, who, after being sacked for burning the advances of, of his lady, takes to the road, accompanied by his beloved Fanny Goodwill and the, ep and the absent-minded, much put-upon Parson, Parson Adams. 
There they encounter robbers, tricksters, seducers, strange twists fall of them, and they have plenty of adventures, apparently, because also there is a sticker. <laughs> so, I am also very excited to give this book a read to try uh, Henry Fielding's writing, maybe later after this book, maybe I will read Tom Jones. Maybe we will read it together. I don't know if I should suggest it for the Big Book Book Club, because I heard that it's like, you know, from what I read, I don't, I don't even know if like I want to read it very much. We will see. We will see. But this is the first book I want to try by this author. So these are the books that I got just two. And I've already just gave it a little bit of taste to Thomas Hardy. I really want to like both of these authors. I'm very excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a very good day. I hope you're staying safe. And I will see you soon in my next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.